Mullins here. We are at the 2017 Denver Sportsman's Expo. I'm on site with Kevin Mollick, owner and founder of Timberleaf Camping Trailers. And Kevin, it's a pleasure to be here with you today. Thank you, Andy. Awesome. You know, I'm really blown away by, by just the quality and the features of, of these camping trailers. I'd love to know um, just a little bit about Timberleaf. I started this as a passion about one year ago. I decided I could build a tear drop trailer as good as, if not better, than anybody else out there. Uh, I think I've hit the home run because basically I've gotten a huge response all over the country and all over the world. There's a cooler. We offer a cooler option. There's a stove. A full countertop. A sink. And plenty of little nooks to store all your products. My background is custom cabinetry and furniture with construction too. And I knew from the onset that I wanted to build the highest quality product we could while maintaining the aesthetics. So you can see some of the things that are here. This is a Baltic birch dovetail joinery. And it's not just for looks. It's, this is truly a, an extremely strong drawer. This basically is a custom cooler. So this cooler is rivaling all the high-end coolers you can imagine. And yet, it serves as a countertop, too. That's what we like about it a lot. It's phenomenal, and I love how, how far it comes out, and yet you keep everything really compact. I right. think it's just, a, it's just a nice structure. It's, yeah, very efficient. The trailer weighs in at 1,400 pounds, so we basically tow it with our own Subaru Outback. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, and it has absolutely no problem at all. That's great. So we have a 12-gallon tank on board. So the fresh water goes underneath the mattress in the front as opposed to in the galley. So typically you'll see the tanks in the galley, and that's valuable space to me. In other words, every inch counts in this galley. So we put the tank underneath the mattress. It's pumped via a hose into a, a tiny little pump under the sink cabinet. It's a sink that we've sourced out from the restaurant supply to take up minimal amount of counter space. Same with this little faucet. It's taken us a long time to find this neat little faucet because it has a really sturdy retro look and it works, I mean, we think just perfectly. Everything you see is made of Baltic birch. Baltic birch is a Russian birch plywood. Every bit of this wood that you see is solid birch. It's not like a typical, even a cabinet grade hardwood. All these little veneers here are actually solid birch. So it makes it just much more substantial, a lot stronger than the standard woods that you see commercially. We use solid wood alder around the skylight and then birch is the main body for all the other wood. Our skylight is truly one of the most unique parts about our trailer. Our trailer has a curved skylight that we have custom fabricated to match the curvature of our teardrop trailer. It is a huge skylight. If you take a look at it, it, it feels like you're outdoors. Oh, it's beautiful. We also include a shade. So the shade comes with skylight, but you need that for privacy as well as shielding yourself from the sun. <laughs> you can see that the cabinetry we use in here is all alder as well. It's a nautic, rustic alder, but I think it lends itself to the style of the two drop. It contrasts really nicely, I think, with the, the light birch. Everything we use is real birch, in other words. It's not a laminate, it's not formica, it's not an element. It was just one of those things I obsessed about. You know, I just, it was important to me. You know, one of the other things that stands out to me is just the interior cabin size. The, the bed itself seems really large for a teardrop. It is. I've worked long and hard to make this into an actual queen-size length bed. So it is truly 80 inches long. That truly is a queen-size bed. In fact, how tall are you? I'm 6'7". Try it. All right, I, I'm going to get I mean, it. Yeah. I mean, there's plenty of room. I'm 6'4". My wife and I sleep in this all the time. I think I'm just going to stay in here for a while, if that's all right. Yeah. All right. Catch all right. you in a bit.